this, Mr. Aiden. We are in AP Calculus AB, and this is defining the derivative of a function. We've been talking about the limit concept for a few weeks. We've been t taking a look at the rate of change and using the limit concept, and so we're going to be moving into what's called the derivative. And the derivative is a fancy term for the slope the slope of a line, the slope of a tangent. And so what do we have here? Let, let me just kind of have a curve here. So we have a, a curve, that's a beautiful curve right there. And of course, like, let's say we have a point on our curve, which is we have an X point. And so that comes all the way up right here to what we call X. And of course, we have Y equals F of X for this function. And so at this point, we have the point X, Y, or X, F of X, okay? When we put that point in, like let's say that point is two, so we would have f of 2, that point right there. So if we wanted to find, uh, let's say, a point over here, which is, let's say, a distance of h away. Okay, we're going to use a variable h. And so this point right here is x plus h, isn't it? Because it's this x value plus h units away. And so right up here at this point, I have a point at x plus h f of x plus h. Okay, so stay with me here. This is a little bit, uh, we're going to be doing a little bit theoretical right here, um, but it will hopefully make sense. And so what can I do between these two points is I can find the slope of the tangent line. Okay, we can find the slope of this, uh, sorry, the slope of the secant line, the slope of the secant line here. Okay, and so if I wanted to find the slope of the secant line, how do I find slope? Slope is equal to the change in y over the change in x, okay, which would be the slope of this line would be this value's y, uh, this purple value's y value, which is f of x plus h minus the y value over here of the red point, f of x, over the change in the x, which is x plus h minus x minus x. Now you can see hopefully what happens here in this slope of this secant line is on the numerator we have f of x plus h minus f of x over, can you see we have x minus x on the denominator, they cancel out which means we have h and that is the slope, the slope of what we call the secant line between these two points. Now if I want to know the slope of the tangent line of my point x. So if we want to know the slope of the tangent line of my point x, I want to know what's the exact slope at this exact instant that's happening here. Well, what would I need to do to this secant line to get it to equal this tangent line right here is I have to minimize this h. Right now we have this h is a pretty far distance away. So I need to bring this h smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller away, don't I? And so this h needs to be decreased. This h needs to go to what we call a limit of zero. So when we take the limit as h approaches zero of f of x plus h minus f of x over h, this is called the derivative, f prime of x, which we call the derivative. And this, the derivative is when the slope of that secant line equals the slope of the tangent line. The slope of the tangent line. So what is the derivative? The derivative is the slope of the tangent line at this exact point. It's as h, this h gets closer and closer and closer and closer and closer and closer and closer to zero ultimately. Okay, and so that is somewhat of, a, of our formal definition. We're going to be wearing a tuxedo. Formal definition of the derivative. If we want kind of an alternate definition of the derivative, let's say at any point. A, so let's say we have a point A right here, point A on our x value, um, which means we have, this is at A, f of A, that's my 
point right here, a f of a. If I want to know the slope of this value right here, the slope of the tangent line, which is the derivative of this, if I want to know f prime of a, f prime of a, which is the derivative at point a, it's where the limit of x approaches a, where the x value approaches a, of f of x minus f of a all over x minus a. And you can hopefully see the slope of the line right there. And so this is kind of an alternate view of the derivative, okay? We could also say this is where the limit as h approaches zero, the limit as h approaches zero of f of a plus h minus f of a all over h, that's this formal definition of the derivative, and we're gonna be using this formal definition of the derivative. I'll give you a shortcut later. But uh, right now we're gonna be using this definition of the derivative, okay? And so let's say we wanted to find the derivative of x squared at, at any exact point. Let, let's say we wanted to find the derivative, the slope, what's the slope of this line right here at x is equal to two x is equal to 2. So I want to find, now I'm going to write down my definition of derivative again, uh, f prime of a, some value a, is equal to the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus this h value, okay, or we could say f of a plus this h value, we're doing f of a, a plus this h value minus f of a all over h. So if I wanted to find uh, f prime of 2, so what is the 2 equal to? That is my a. The 2 is equal to my a value. So I am going to do the limit as x, sorry, as h approaches 0 of f of a plus h. Now, what is my function? My function, my f of x is equal to x squared. So right here, I have my x squared. So what goes in there? We put a plus h. What's my a value? My a value is 2, 2 plus h. Okay, 2 plus h. Minus my f of a. What's my f of a? That's my x squared. What goes in here is 2. All over what? All over h. So I have right here the limit as h approaches 0 of 2 plus h squared minus 2 squared over h. We just substituted the 2 for the a. We kept my x squared, which was my function right there. And so I could find this value at this this little 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 value at um, using the limit concept right here so if I wanted to find f prime of 2 equals the limit as h approaches 0 so what's a number very 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 close to 0 let's let's do point zero zero one so we're gonna put that in there minus 2 squared minus 2 squared all over point zero zero one so uh, I'm just taking a very, very small value. I'm doing the limit concept here. So 2 plus 0 0.001, you can square that, minus 2 squared, which is 4, divided by 0 0.001, and you end up getting that slope that of that tangent line, the derivative at this point 2, where the slope is going to be equal to, on your calculator you get 4.001. What is, is it really going to be is 4, because we're using, of course, the limit concept, okay? Now you could have used 2 minus 0 0.001 and negative 0 0.001 and so you can use uh, either uh, very, very small values on the upper side, very, very small values on the lower side and that limit converges. And so I can know the slope of any single point. Instead of 2, could I have done find the slope at 3? Sure. All you got to do is put 3 in there, okay? f prime of 3 equals the limit as h approaches 0 of 3 plus some value h, it could be any value, 
minus 3 squared all over that value h. And you can find the slope at any single point in time by putting a very small value in for h. Okay. Uh, which means here you can see we're finding g prime of 2. Again, let me give that definition of a derivative. f prime of a equals the limit as h approaches 0 of f of a plus h minus f of a all over h right there. There's my my definition of my derivative. And so let me define a few things. We have g of 2, g of 2, or f of 2. So that means a is equal to 2. Okay. What is my function equal to? My function is equal to log of x. So if I was to do f prime of 2, or g prime of 2, limit as h approaches 0. So what's my function? My function is log of x. What am I going to put in for my x? My a plus h is 2 plus h minus log of, what's my a value? Log of 2 all over h, which you can see is letter c right there. That matches up perfectly with the derivative concept. And so you can find the derivative using the formal definition of the derivative of a function. Okay. Hope that helped. Take care.